Yesterday, I put together a blog post, link down below, and uh, shared the instructions for how you too can finally get your Arduino, this little device right here, working with your Chrome OS device or your Chromebook. Now, there have been ways to do this with a, a website uh, interface, and you could install the Arduino IDE through the apt package under the Linux VM, uh, with uh, the Linux beta on Chrome OS. But in the blog post, I show you how to download the absolute latest version of the, the Arduino IDE, which is really what you want. And then um, while I was doing that, I thought, gee, I wonder with the advances of the Linux VM, can we finally attach an Arduino to our Chrome OS device and program it and upload that program and control the Arduino? Guess what? I figured it out, it works. This is not a demo on how to set your computer up to do that. Uh, full details are in the blog post, but I wanted to demonstrate this for you. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go uh, down here to our device. And what I'm gonna do, first of all, show you down here, you'll notice uh, down on the right here that I do have the Arduino IDE. I'm gonna go ahead and fire that up. And I just want you to see that it is working under Chrome OS. It'll take just a second here. And now you'll see that the latest version of the, the uh, Arduino IDE is in fact loaded. Now, the next thing that you will wonder is, yes, it's loaded, but can you actually upload your code? Now, here's what's gonna happen. In order to set this up, there's a flag, you gotta uh, flip in, uh, in Chrome OS, which again, that's in the link uh, to the blog post at the bottom. But then you also have to give the Linux VM permission to attach that USB device to the VM. So it's a way to secure the operating system so you don't have rogue devices. Some devices are already supported, such as thumb drives, but there's an option to flip a switch and say, hey, allow unsupported. So we're gonna show you what that looks like when we do this. So what I have is obviously on a Chromebook, especially the one that I'm using, which is a Pixel Slate, it gets a little more difficult because there's not a USB port. So I just have a simple USB hub. This is USB-C to three USB, and I think there's an Ethernet on here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plug that into the side here of the, and the USB connector. And then the next thing I want to do is take my cable for my Arduino, and uh, we will go ahead and plug this in. I'm using an Arduino Uno here, the original. So I will just plug that in. I'm going to set that to the side and we'll come back and look at the uh, the lights here in a minute. Then I'm going to plug that directly into my hub. Now, once I have done that, I should see a couple of things happen. First of all, I have power on the light, which shows that I'm at least getting power. But then I get this little notification right here and it says USB device detected. Open settings to connect the USB device from Arduino to Linux. So what I'm going to do is click right here, this connect to Linux. Now, when I do that, I should see down here on the bottom, and it does say that, Arduino Genuine Uno on a specific port. So I'm gonna go up here to Tools. I'm gonna to go here to Board, and I can select the right board, which I've already done. Uh, it is the Genuine uh, Arduino Uno, which is selected. But then if you go back to Tools, you're going to note that now I have a port that says, dev slash tty acm zero arduino genuine uno so let me go ahead and move in i'm going to move the camera manually here apologize this is a little shoddy but you can see now i have access to that port now what we're going to do is i am going to use this code that is already loaded this is a fade code and i want you to see that it actually uploads so in order to do that i'm going to bring this here i want you to watch the transmission no 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 magic here no wizardry I'm just gonna click the upload button up here in the IDE, tap that. You'll notice that we get the transmission lights rolling and that code is now controlling this light right here, this LED light that's going through the fade uh, program. So show you that one more time so you can see what that looks like. Again, up here, moving here, you can see I just upload here, press that upload button let me go ahead and bring the board back so you can see the transmission again. And watch the little lights right here. And you see the lights and you see the code and everything's working. So I hope that shows that um, we have figured out how to get the Arduino working under the Linux VM with 
the Arduino IDE software. It's pretty cool. I'm so excited because now I finally get to use my Chromebook for my Arduino development. I'm interested to see uh, what other things I can do now. Uh, this is just the beauty of having a Linux uh, virtual machine on your Chrome OS device. So again, this doesn't really show you how to set everything up. That will be in the blog post that's mentioned below, but I hope that helps somebody. And I know educators, you've been waiting for this because I've heard this from you. I know as an educator myself, I'm super excited to be able to take my Pixel Slate now into the classroom and show students how to program uh, in the Arduino IDE and send that code. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And uh, again, be sure and check out the blog post for all the good details on how you too can get this working on your Chrome OS device.